Welcome back to You Can Do It. This is part two with regards to uh, restoring a strimmer, which we found in the dump. So uh, the other half, luckily this, this one has got a detachable thing here, so I've detached that off the, the strimmer. So we're looking at the gearbox. These are off, this is off of a home light, but the home light, a Ryobi, well, they're all basically the same principle, or the same design. So what we're gonna do about this, we're gonna take this up completely apart, strip it all down, check it's all, all works, put it back together and put it into new condition. As you can say, this is pretty uh, pretty knackered as I found it in the, in the dump, okay? So first things first with this is we need to take this off. And these are always left-hand threads, so you need to actually, to get it actually loose, you need to pretend you're tightening it up so it's clockwise and you'll loosen it off. I've already loosened that one off, but basically you get a screwdriver and you put it down there and it'll lock this solid so you can undo it. But I've used an impact driver on here. So basically, turn it clockwise. Yeah, put that bit off there. Another washer and there. And you've got the head. So that just shows you that hole I was talking about. Yeah, you need to find, look, there's the hole there. You put a screwdriver in there at the side and then that locks it, locks it solid so that you can take the nut off, okay? So then we'll take this one off. Now I've already cleaned that bit up because that was all covered in crap. So now we're getting onto the stage. Now, so you've got a bearing in here, yeah, and then you have um, a bearing at the top, and then you've got another bearing on here. So to get it off the shaft here, usually they have a, uh, you have a clamp bolt, which is there, clamp bolt there, which I'm gonna undo, and then you've got this one here, which is a little locking pin, so you can take the shaft off. So let me undo this one. Okay, look, so that, well, that pin's out there. So now I'm just gonna take this one out here. Yeah, that's out. Oh, actually, I've normally got a little tray here. So I'll put all my bolts in, in the tray. I'll say we, we, I've got another video out of getting the strimmer started. If you don't know, if your strimmer won't start, that's another video about how to start a strimmer that won't start. Um, so right, so we've taken that off, we've taken that off, right, so then this, there we are, look, the shaft comes out, you can expect that, that should be square. But that's all in there. It's done. So I'll just put that, put that to one side. This is the head, all right? So while we're here, next thing is, we'll take this cowling off. Now one bolt is missing, so we'll just take those two bolts off there. I've loosened those off. So those two bolts are out. Should be three, but I say there's only two. So that comes off. So what we can do with that, we'll do that a bit later. And I'll clean that up. And this is obviously hit something and I'll, I'll straighten that all up and bash that flat as best we can. And give that a little bit of a lick of paint. All right, so now we've got the cutting head. So this is what we, um, if you've got noise coming from here or you want to just, it's not working, we're going to check it. Now look, you've got a circlip there, which holds in this shaft. So basically the way that it works, the shaft is in there and you have another shaft goes there and you've got a, um, like a chamfered cog in there and it sits on it top there and there should be a bearing at the top end. So what we can do is, there's a, you can see down there. Yeah, down there, look, there's a circlip down there. Now this is normally full of grease, but this, this one isn't as hard as got any grease in it, which is why I'm going to check it out. So I'm going to take that circlip out there, and I'm going to take that circlip off there. Circlip bias. I can't do that uh, and, and video at the same time, so let me just take those out now. Okay, we've got that one out there. That one in there is a bit difficult because you need some long, long ones to get down there and get into it. Okay, so that circlip's out there. And you've got this here. So now to get this one out, I'm going to heat this up a little bit. I've got a blowtorch. I'm just going to heat that up just a little bit to just expand that a little bit. And then I'll put some pliers down there and grab that bit and pull it out. Okay, that's been heated up. So look, I'll put, put my screwdrivers down there. There we are. That pulled out there, look. So you've got that off there. That's the bearing. And that's the, the teeth. That's, it, looks, it looks all right. So we're going to clean that up. And we'll have a look at that. So then we need to now start getting this one off here. All right, so let me just clean this one up and I'll be back in a second. All right, just as I clean that one up, that bearing's fine actually, so I'm not gonna take that. If, you, if this bearing was, was damaged, I need to replace it. There's some circlips there, you take that off and then you slide that bearing off and put a new one on. But that bearing's fine on this one, so I don't need to do anything with that. So now we're gonna go on to this one here. Now, the circlip's out. Now to get that bearing out, like that, you can actually just use what you've got actually. Put this on here. You can either put a socket on there 
and then put a thread on there. Or you can actually use this to get it started. Put it on that way, look. And that'll start pulling it, look. And then you can use the nut just on there. So what you can do is get yourself a few washers. Just put a few washers on there. Yeah. Find your nut, put that on. Now if you start that up, put that, hold that into a vise if it starts turning, if you can't hold it, but then basically, like that look, can you hear it, you hear it pulling? You hear it pulling, just do it by hand, yeah. Now it's locked solid. Now what that means is that you, you, you take that off. Not need an impact driver, it's just a lot easier with one, but take that off there. What's happened now is look, this inner one has come up to the same level, so it's getting stopped by the washer. All right, but that you can see that that's moved up now. So now what we need to do, find yourself a big washer, because we've still got a little bit of space there. Put, find a bigger washer, put that on. Then you can put that back on again as well if you want. And then we just do that. And let's just tighten up again. Yeah, you can hear it, you can hear it's coming. And now it's locked again basically means it's hit the top of that movement. So that we see, it's come all the way up to there. Now we've only got this last little bit. So now what we can probably do. Right, I'm just gonna heat, I'm gonna put another I'll big washer on there. I'm just gonna heat this up and I can put a screwdriver in there and leave it that off and hope I'll get the last bit out. So let me just heat this up. Okay, that's hot, so I'm holding it. Now I can get a screwdriver in there, that last bit. I need two hands for that, but just let me, Get on there, look, you can see it's come out, even just with me. Because you can heat that aluminium, but it gets hot really quickly. Look, so that's basically out now. And that's hot, so I need to put another glove on. The heat on these aluminium castings, and then things will come out there, look. She's pulled right out. So we've got that in there, so we can clean this all up and put some new new stuff in it. So look, that's, that's there, there's a lot of grease and stuff in there. Um, but that's interesting, look, that's that bottom bearing, look, it's still got the different colour grease on it. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to take that off, let this cool, and I'm going to clean that up, and I'll be back in a second. All right, look, clean that up. And actually that bearing is lovely. This this rear one is beautiful, but they, they don't normally fail. That's lovely. This one, this one's a bit rougher. But this was the one that normally goes, this one here, but I've noticed that's a sealed bearing, which is good quality. This is a beautiful bearing. This is an SKF which is an expensive bearing. Um, and the way this is all, the way this is all made, I don't think this is, this is not pool on weed eater, this is made by someone else. And there might be a bit of a clue, because in the bottom of here, oh, there's an H. Oh, that stands for Husqvarna or something like that, but this is probably bought in from someone else in volume. Because this is a really, well, this is a really well made head, uh, casting everything. So I, I think this is from, from someone else. So that doesn't need replacing. This one, I'll, I'll um, take some measurements for it and I'll come back with the size, but I might order another one of these to replace this one here. So what we need to do then is just pull this off with a puller, or you can pop, pop it in the vise and tap down. Now if you tap down on it like that, make sure you put the nut on so you don't mess up the thread like that. But it's best to have a, a little puller if you can and pull that off. And that's an SKF as well. Yeah, these heads are definitely not, a, these are not made, these are brought, brought in by someone else. This is actually a really good spec head. So, you get these pull-on cheap, cheap trimmers, but they've got a damn good head on them. That'll fit, I bet that's the same as Hus Husqvarna, or if you only look at the Husqvarna ones or something. It's the same. It might be useful for some, someone. Exchangeability. The main, just you need to know what the size of the, it'll fit any shaft you want. Right, so what am I going to do now is I'm, I might replace that bearing, I might not um, clean that up. Now, there wasn't, this was missing and I can see that the threads are a bit knackered. So I've cleaned this all right up and I'm going to re-thread that, find a bolt that goes in there. That's just like a service to hatch to put, um, service hole to put grease in there. But that's why I've got to take all the grease out of it because I don't want any little bits of filings in there which will get in these bearings. Um, so yeah, let me do that. I'm going to thread that. And then uh, I'll be back. Okay, look, I found that. That was uh, that was actually all right. I just found a bolt that fits in there, so that's good. And actually, where that goes there, fine. There's plenty of space. 
so I don't need to worry about that hitting the shaft. Okay, so now we can start rebuilding this up. That's definitely, I think that's definitely has fun or something. But anyway, so we can start building this back up again now. So let's assume that your bearings were knackered and you've changed. If you needed to change the bearing, as like I say, you pull that off there. Um, I can give you the bearing sizes in the link if you want, and some link to some bearings. But it's worth putting in good quality bearings. Don't put Chinese crap in there because they won't they'll let go pretty pretty quickly. So put in decent bearings. It's only a couple of dollars more or a couple of euros more. Um, and we're good to go. So let's start rebuilding it. Okay, let's start putting that in, putting that back together again. Yeah. So what we need to do is put that into there. Now we don't need to work too much worry about the grease at the moment because we can pack the grease in through there. Okay, so you've changed your bearings or whatever. This is all right. I've got a new one on order. I'm going to run this for a while before I put the new one in because that's that's totally fine. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll put that back in there. So, but before I do that, to make it just a little bit easier, I'm just going to heat heat this up a bit with the blowtorch to get it nice and warm, and it should fit in a lot easier. So let me get let me just go and heat Let's this heat up. Heat it up. These are out. Let's uh, put that back in there like that. And look, see how that slips straight in now. That was a dream rather than worrying about smacking it or anything with the hammer. That's that's in. Lovely there now. All right, so that's in. So now I can put my circlipping back in there, which I'll do now. All right, I still have to use the glove because it's still hot, but I've put the circlip in there, as you can see. So that's in there now. Ah, oh, that's still hot. That's good. So now, down here, look. We can pack that all full of grease down there before we put the next bearing in. So let me just go and pack that full of grease. Okay, look down there. So we're going to pack that all full of grease now. Now look, that's like that. I've put loads in there, but the good thing is when I put this, when I push this bearing in back down there, that's going to squeeze all that up around there. So we need to make sure that that's loose or off. So we need to take this off here. God, it's still hot this piece, blimey. So then when we push this back down here, you can put this in here like that. Push that down a lot, and you see that grease has started to come up there, so we know that that's pretty much full. So now, look, you see down there, we can put that circlip in, make sure that's seated properly, and then we can put some more grease in, pack that with some more grease. Alright, so we've cleaned that up, so that can go on there like that. And then actually, I mean, I'm going to now need a, a new blade because that thing's pretty destroyed. So I'm just going to get myself a new one. I'm actually going to get a, a cutting trimming head. So I can put that on there like that. Put my uh, screw on. I'll wait for the head to... Oh well. So look at that. Fixed. That's looking a lot better, isn't it? Really pleased with that. So now what we can do... Stick that in, in the tub of grease, get a bit of grease in there. You're just going to go in like that. I'll get a bit of grease on the end there. All right, now we'll put this in here. There we are. Now, there's a little bolt in here, which we need just to put in, and that was make sure that gets in the right hole uh, to lock it. There you I can't rotate that thing there, look. Do that up. Uh, I'll put a new bolt in there for the, that's where we need to fill it up with grease, but we've already filled it up with grease because we know that. And now I just need to tighten this clamp up here. All right, just tighten that up there. Oh, look at that. Didn't take long. I've given that a full service. Uh, it's got bearings in it. All looking good. Packed full of grease. That should be good to go for, good to go for a few, few more years. All right. So that's completed this part about actually servicing that head. But all the heads, doesn't matter what make they are, they're all basically the same same setup. So just to sort of remind you, when you're taking this apart, drive and, and uh, bearing out from here first before you pull the other one out. Otherwise, because of the way it's set up, uh, if you don't do that, you'll you'll bust the whole set up. Yeah. So you need to take the, this one out first and then you can pull that one out. All right. Well, that's it. hope this has helped. If you like the channel, subscribe. We fix things on it. It's all about motivation. You can do it. And send me any comments if you've got any questions. You can do it.